Okay, great. Um, so this is where we're going to left leave off, I guess. Okay, I think we still have enough time. Okay, let's just do this question. So we have cosine pi over 4, right? So first of all, what is cosine pi, pi over 4? So remember what I said, pi would be equal to 180, right? So 180 degrees, rather. So if you have pi, which is equal to 180 degrees, right? In that case, you're going to take 180 divided by 4 to identify what that angle is. So 180 divided by 4 should give you 45 degrees. So essentially, this question is asking you what is cosine of 45 degrees, right? And we know um, right off the bat, cosine 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2, right? Just to double check. Yeah, it is square root of 2 over 2. So if this is square root of 2, over 2 and how do I know that well if you recall we have the 45 45 90 angle the special um, angles that sorry special triangles that we have okay so if this is 45 degrees or pi over 4 this must be 45 degrees as well right and then basically we're going to take um, so we know that this is 1 or X and then honestly let's just keep this as 1 so 1 just to sim just for simplicity and then we have one and then we have square root of two great so now that we have this right remember this is a special triangle because it's cosine we're taking the adjacent side or whichever 45 degrees you're looking at but let's say we're looking at this the adjacent side is one so that's the Sokotoa right adjacent over hypotenuse which is square root of two and because you don't want to rat a radical in your denominator that's why you multiply your numerator and your denominator with um, square root of 2 over 2 sorry square root of 2 over square root of 2 which is e equivalent to saying it's equal to 1 right and as a result we get square root of 2 over 2 because the radical right cancels out because when you multiply two radicals and they're the same term you get rid of that square root so that's why it's equal to 2 um, great, so that's why cosine pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. And they've just shown you the graph of cos x is, right? Remember, you have your max at positive 1, you have your minimum at negative 1, and one period is starting from here until this point. Yeah, so in decimal, it's 0 0.707, but I think at this point, um, just try to remember your cosine pi over 4 in terms of um, square root of 2 over 2. I think this will pay off um, if you do pursue um, upper year courses for math. So, okay, and this is for science. So um, I've got nothing to say because they specifically wrote square root of two over two and this is 0 0.707, so perfect.